Okay, so um, level two AAT bookkeeping. What I want to do to start with is talk about the four vital constituents that you will need to manipulate to understand the accounting system. And the four constituents are assets, liabilities, expenses, and income. So, what is an asset? An asset, well, I've got a list up here, um, and I've divided the list of assets into two categories, non-current, the top three examples, and current. Non-current means of a permanent nature, used in the business, typically for more than a year. Current means assets um, that are turning over on a more regular basis, which are in the business for less than a year. So my non-current asset examples are land, buildings and vehicles, which the business uses. And my current asset examples are closing inventory, stock that you have in the, asset, in the uh, warehouse at the end of the year, uh, receivables, receivables or otherwise known as debtors, uh, meaning uh, amounts owed to the business to us when we've made a sale. So the sale may have been for whatever amount of money, we'll wait for say 30 days before we get the money. Before we get the money, we call it a receivable. Once we get the money, it's in the bank. Bank being another current asset. So they're the current assets. So an asset um, you can see as some kind of resource uh, that the business controls and that's going to produce some benefit for the business. Okay, so think of an asset in that way. It can be owned, uh, assets are usually owned, but the key word is that they are controlled by the business. Um, expenses. Uh, expenses are examples I've given you are wages, repairs, typical expenses of a business, purchases. Uh, a purchase uh, has a specific meaning uh, in bookkeeping. Uh, purchases usually refer to the expense of buying our inventory for resale. Okay, When we buy our inventory for resale, that will be charged to an expense account called purchases. And at the end of the period or at the end of the year, whatever we haven't sold will be regarded as inventory. So when you buy inventory for resale, it is charged to a purchases account, that's an expense. At the end of the period, you will weigh your expenses, purchases and other expenses, against sales to find a profit figure. Okay. Other expenses, uh, opening inventory, I'll explain a little bit more about why opening inventory is an expense later, but for now, just understand that there is this thing called opening inventory, which we call an expense, and another thing called closing inventory, which we regard as an asset. Discounts allowed um, is the expense of allowing our customers to pay us a bit less, to knock off our sales price. So you can see how that would be an expense. And irrecoverable receivables, um, otherwise known as bad debts. Okay, irrecoverable receivables is where you, you don't actually receive what you thought you were going to receive from your credit customers. Um, so a credit customer owed me, let's say, £900. I would have shown a receivable at £900. Suddenly, uh, they've gone into liquidation. I'm not going to receive the £900. I have to write that off. That would be an expense called irrecoverable receivables. So their expenses are uh, income. Essentially, the main item of income uh, we call sales, can be called other things such as turnover, uh, but typically uh, sales or revenue uh, uh, are terms that are used. Uh, sales, if I'm selling books, sales is the gross income that I get from selling those books. If I sell a book for £10, the sales value of the book is £10, all of my various expenses will be deducted from that £10 to find a profit figure, which we'll come on to a bit later. And then liabilities. Liabilities are amounts that are owed. Think of a liability as an amount owed. The main two liabilities, which I've shown up there, there are others, but the main two. First of all, I've shown loan. Loan being a non-current liability, typically, i.e. more than a year. Um, an amount owed, usually to a bank or some other institution. Payables. Um, the opposite to receivables. Payables um, are, are people or businesses 
um, to whom we owe money. Um, so we may owe um, a supplier for the goods we've purchased before we sell them on. Uh, now, when we purchase them, we may not wish to pay for them straight away. We may wish to pay later. And at that point, we have a liability. We still get the goods to use our business, but we have a liability to make a payment to those suppliers. And not until we've made that payment do we extinguish the liability. And that would be a current liability. Payables would be a current liability because we hope to pay within 30, 60 days. That would be a typical, um, typical amount of time to pay uh, an amount. Other current liabilities alongside payables could be things uh, like accruals. Accruals are for amounts we still owe for things like electricity, gas, water, that kind of thing, expenses. And the final liability, which um, is usually separated out in the financial records, is capital. So you can think of capital as the liability of the business to the owner. I'm thinking about a sole trader here the liability of the business to the owner. So if the owner puts £100 into the business to start the business, the business owes the owner £100. Um, so that's capital. So those are the four basic constituent parts of, uh, of the bookkeeping system. And the next video will show how these start to knit together.